GlobalCal is a simple and time-saving calibration process by CR Monitor that can be performed on individual Century IT gas detectors or through the Century IT controller. In this video, we are demonstrating the GlobalCal procedure on the Century IT gas detector. The GlobalCal procedure consists of three steps, applying zero gas, applying span gas, and completing the process. The following tools are required to carry out this procedure on the combustible gas detector. The 5100-28-IT gas detector, Type A system calibrator kit, regulator and delivery tube, magnetic wand, cylinder CH4 50% LEL span gas, cylinder zero air zero gas, cal gas delivery fitting. Cylinders must be replaced if past the expiration date or under 50 PSIG. All of these items can be purchased from Sierra Monitor and their authorized reps and resellers. Please go to www.sierra monitor to find the right purchasing option for you. If the infrared sensor assembly has been replaced, allow at least one hour for stabilization before beginning the calibration process. To prepare the gas detector for calibration, inspect the reinstalled and sensor cell's health to make sure that it's okay to proceed. This includes checking for any damage, wiring faults, and if the sensor is functioning properly. The detector must be scrolling its identity and the display should read 0% LEL. Now that you have all the necessary tools and inspections out of the way, you are ready to start the global cal procedure. Step 1. Applying the zero gas. Begin the global cal procedure by tapping the magnetic wand on the mode key, or M, two times until the display shows the phrase CALIB. Once CALIB is present, tap the enter key, or E, to confirm the process. There are two ways to apply the zero gas. If it is known that you are in a clean environment where the ambient air surrounding the sensor is free of hydrocarbons, this can be used as a zero stable gas standard. However, if it is unknown that you are in a clean environment, you must apply zero gas through the cylinder. To do this, attach the gas delivery fitting underneath the sensor to the actual sensor, then connect the tube from the regulator, which is attached to the zero gas air cylinder, to the delivery fitting, and turn on the valve of the regulator. After two or three minutes of zero gas application, or when the zero stable reading is shown on the display, use a magnetic wand to confirm zero gas by tapping the E key. If you applied zero gas in the cylinder, you can now turn off the zero gas, disconnect the tubing, and fitting from the sensor. Next is step two, applying the span gas. First, confirm the span gas concentration. Note that this is a combustible gas detector and we're using 50% LEL methane as our standard for our demonstration. Not all span gas concentrations are the same. Use a magnetic wand to tap E to confirm. Now you're ready to apply the span gas. Attach the gas delivery fitting underneath the detector to the actual sensor. Then connect the tubing from the regulator, which is now attached to the span gas cylinder, to the delivery fitting and turn on the valve on the regulator. This will flow the span gas into the sensor at a predetermined rate. Observe the display so that the concentration remains stable plus or minus 5% of the reading. Once stable, confirm the calibration by tapping the magnetic wand on the E key. Next is step 3, completing the process. Observe the display and you'll notice that the detector will begin a countdown timer of 5 minutes. This will ensure that the detector will return to normal operation with no span gas present. As the timer continues to count down, turn off the span gas and disconnect the tubing and fitting from the sensor. After five minutes, the global cal procedure will be completed and the detector will be in full operation. Through the simple and time-saving global cal procedure, the calibrating of a gas detector has never been easier. For additional information, please go to www.seramonitor.com. Thank you.